Hi everyone, I'm Alex and I hope you are having a great day. In a previous video, we had a look on how to enable auto updates in the MSIX without using the Microsoft Store. If you remember correctly, to have auto updates outside of the store, an app installer file must be created. In this file, you can specify where your app is located and how the whole update process will occur. In the app installer file, you can also have the element force update from any version. If this element is set to true, it will allow your application to update to a higher version, but also downgrade to a previous version. Without it, the app can only move to a higher version. But let's have a look at some scenarios on how this force update from any version element actually works. What you must understand is that the app installer file is the one that tells your MSIX when to search and where to search for updates. For example, if I install this 2.0 version of the MSIX directly using the MSIX and not the app installer file, if I then place the app installer file for the 1.0 version and also the MSIX for the 1.0 version on the share I declared in the app installer, the MSIX package will not know that it needs to update from there. It doesn't even know that it needs to check for updates. So let's try this scenario, right? So we install the 2.0 version, right? I ain't going to launch it. It's just a sample application. Okay, so if we have a look in the app installer file, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So this is our URI, URI path where the MSIX should search if there is a new version and it has the force update from any version uh, as set as true. Okay, so now let's say I place the 1.0 version. I just copy it here in the update folder because this is the folder where everything needs to be, right? Okay. And as you saw, uh, the update was set to each time the application opens, right? So let's open up the application. Okay. And now let's check the add remove programs. Okay. So this is our MSIX package. If we go to advanced options, you see it's still version 2.0, right? But that doesn't mean you can't downgrade it. So if I go back to the folder and run the app installer file, because we have the force downgrade, right? So the force update uh, for previous versions, a new, uh, you will see that the app installer will tell you that a newer version of the startup application is already installed. To force update, just click update. So let's click update. Okay, cool. And now if we open up the add remove programs again, you should see that version 1.0 should be present on the machine. Just give it a little bit of time. Okay. And this is our startup application. And here you go, version 1.0. So if you instruct your users to use the app installer file after they install the MSIX file, the downgrade will still happen. It just won't happen automatically, right? So let's take the normal scenario where you have your app installer file from the start, right? So now let's install the version 2.0 of the application using the app installer file and then copy the 1.0 version uh, of the app installer and the MSIX package uh, on the share and see if the downgrade happens automatically. So I'm going to install the 2.0 version now. Okay, cool. So now it's installed. Now let's copy the version 1.0 back to the share. Okay. And now that I've copied, I need to open the application list once so that it checks for updates or downgrades in our example. Okay. Leave it a minute and there you go. The downgrade happened. The application starts again. Okay, but let's now have a look in add remove programs. Okay, so let's see advanced options. Here you go. Version 1.0 is automatically 
installed on the system if the user uses the app installer file. I hope that you now understand how important the app installer file is if you ever want to handle any sort of updates and downgrades. If you ever publish your application outside of the Microsoft Store, be sure to inform the users what file they should use for installation. For additional topics, don't forget to check out our blog and user guide. Until next time, I wish you all a great day. Bye bye!